glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Blue Devils have been mired in this deep funk, and sometimes when things start going wrong, the harder you work, the worse it gets. At least it seems that way. They have to find a way to relax, play to their capabilities, and try to find something that can give them a little bit of confidence. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. This is Wallace Wade Stadium located here in the Old North State, North Carolina. And now let's head down to the coin toss and is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Jackson's Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. And he has it on the corner. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 40. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. So they'll move back after Still that costly down. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Red 7, red 7. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 23 yard line. First down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. to his receiver no good he put a little bit too much mustard on that throw and it got away from him third down third and ten coming up ball on the 23 yard line Fires that quickly, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Didn't get all of that one. Heading for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Logan's a kid that loves to play at home. He's good on the road, and he's been really cool over the years playing on the road, but sometimes you get an atmosphere like this, Kirk, and you start to wonder. Well, Brad, that's what makes college football so special. You, you get into some of these atmospheres where the home crowd can definitely be a huge advantage for that home team. Today, I, you know, because of his experience, because of his big playability, because he's able to stay so calm, I'd be surprised if this crowd really rattled him in this offense today. 
He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First and 10. Ball on the 21. Hester, left side. What a play, and that is first and goal. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First and goal. was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the three-yard line. Touchdown, Hokies. Up six. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese? We've been keeping an eye on everything going on in the top Jackson's 25. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Easy, easy. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Fights forward to about the 19. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That brings us to 10. Intended that time for the wide receiver. Sometimes the ball just kind of sails on you. I'm sure he wouldn't mind having that one back. Fry is the deep man awaiting the return. He punts it away, and there's no hang time on this one. Fry fields it at the 26, and he just got drilled. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That's good for a of yards. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Virginia Tech is up seven. Brought down at the 42-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. First foul. foul. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. 
First and 15 now after the penalty. Run and he's brought down. Good for a game of six yards. That brings up second and nine. down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle right around the 34. First down. From the 34 yard line. First down. Gets it out quickly. Unbelievable. Touchdown, V Tech. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 64-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 14-0. Across the 30, and they push him out to 37-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. the left. Nice run there. Jackson comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll make it third and five. From their own 42-yard line, it's third down. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Campbell to punt. Gets it away. It's low. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Virginia Tech's showing what we expected them to do today, and this one could get kind of ugly, I think. Yeah, this one's about to get out of hand. I don't know about at your house, but at my house, we have a 21-point rule, and if you get down by 21, we turn it over. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 21. They'll give it off here. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Touchdown. 
He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Gets out to about the 21. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Caught out in the open. He's taken down. That's the 31. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. And the offense is looking to go with a hurry up early in the game. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Pass incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 15-yard line. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Face, Face mask. mask. Defense. Defense. Complete breakdown in judgment and discipline. These are the types of mental errors that drive coaches crazy. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. The Hokies with a three touchdown advantage. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. They're crowding the line. They'll work the left side. Touchdown, Blue Devils! And he tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Duke is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. He gets out to about the 18-yard line.
You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He makes it to the 18-yard line. and nine coming up here all on the 18 yard line makes it out to about the 40. the reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing they have no idea whether you're passing or running even if you need medium to long range yards Wants it all going long. And he makes a catch. And a huge touchdown play. And he adds the extra point. A short three-play, 83-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now, 28-7. He just drills this one. Virginia Tech gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. defense. Still, Still first, first down. down. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's on the run. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. Calhoun gets six yards after taking it himself. They're about four yards away here on second down. That's what I do. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Here we go. Oh, oh. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And off to the left. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 28. From the 28 yard line. It's first down. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. So they pick up the first down there. It's about a six-yard gain on the play. It's a very pretty run, and that was one heck of a spin move on the defender. First and 10. Ball on the 17.
first down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of four on that That brings them second and goal. converts the extra point. Campbell has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Virginia Tech's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm. He did a good job of picking apart the defense. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He steps out around the 25-yard line. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. They run it left. Brought down at the 43. the stop at about the 33 yard line the 33 yard line that'll make it 31 they'll line it up again on third down grabs it and he might go the distance He's knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. the seven yard line they've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line touchdown virginia 
Virginia Tech. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. That is a great play here by the corner to be able to knock that football away. In many cases, you'll see a corner actually try to knock the football away, and he'll interfere with the wide receiver. This time, he keeps his body and arms away from the receiver and still knocks it away. That's a big-time play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 23. Tackle right around the 34. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. Not a lot of time left. Virginia Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. First down. out to about the 42-yard line. Hester gets around three on the halfback draw. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Gain of six yards. He's scrambling, and down he goes at the 49. Fumble. Scoops up the loose ball. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 46. They come out in a five-wide set. 
Get to that quickly. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws this one out to the right. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires quick. He's got another one. That's a great tackle at the four. The Blue Devils call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First and goal for the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Jackson on the handoff. Touchdown, Blue Devils. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's have a look at what's going on in Chapel Thrill. And for North Carolina, they're sleepwalking through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. We've played a half of football here. The Hokies lead it by two touchdowns. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Tries to get around the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 31 yard line. First down. from their own 31-yard line. It's first down. Counterplay. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. three on the carry. Well, this corner isn't the biggest guy on the field, but he made a nice tackle there. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 31. Fire quickly. He's got his man. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. 
the 10. Touchdown, Hokies. And he tacks on the extra point. Griffin gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. At the 30. They'll bring him down at the 38. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There's a strike complete. He's down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down right around the 30. the PAT. So a short three-play, 62-yard drive, and they put up seven points. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. He really got a hold of that kick. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. And for Hester, He's had a lot of success running the ball today. <laughs> You're right, Brad. And this guy's kind of the spark plug of this offense. And right now, he's got him firing on all cylinders. And anytime the snowflakes come out and the temperatures drop, this is the kind of football you really have to play. You take the pressure off of the quarterback and the receivers and that frozen ball and trying to throw it, and you put it in the hands of that running back and you dominate the line of scrimmage. Nice play fake. There's a strike complete. Inside the 30. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. That's a team 51 number. First down. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Takes the counter left. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. He's tackled at the 4. drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here so much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers and right now with this offense they are in sync and really the timing and execution is flawless five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun scrambling complete he's got room he's tackled at about the 31 they'll line up with five wide receivers
gives the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to get you an update from Chapel Hill. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for North Carolina, once again, this game just goes to show you never take anything for granted in college football. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Virginia Tech's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into a position of being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. First and 15 now after the penalty. it on the pitch. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. He fights forward to about the 40. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Fires it out. Drop down at the 49-yard line. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. Weber is back to receive. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And for Wheatley, he's had a great game catching the ball. Yeah, Brad, I think with this performance today, he's really sending a message to the entire country that this is a guy you've got to be aware of, and you better be prepared for if you line up against this offense. When one of your receivers can average 20 yards a catch, your offense is doing something right. And off, and he's met immediately. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. field tackle from the 47 yard line first down he throws it and that one's incomplete and he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Just 
man, and they take him down immediately. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle at the four-yard line. This is the eighth play of the drive. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. On play action. Fires out quick, it's picked off with a 20. Got some open field for the 10. Touchdown, Duke! <laughs> and he converts the extra point. Duke is lining up to kick this one off. Kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 30. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. First of all, clipping. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. You know, after that last turnover by this offense, the momentum has really turned in this game. And right now, you got to believe this defense is going to come out and play with a lot of intensity and a lot of aggression. They line up at the 14. Second down. Virginia Tech up seven points. They'll bring him down at the 17 yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Hokies with a touchdown lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Boy, this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game. That makes it first and ten. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Run and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. They'll line it up again on third down. Got a man. Watch. 
catch out here. He goes out of bounds around the 48-yard line. First down. Virginia Tech is up seven. Black five, black five, green nine. Quick throw caught by the fullback. He steps out around the 48-yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Takes it up the middle. And they make the stop at the 28. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Offense. Still second down. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Play action. Defense coming. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Check three, check three, check three. Check and two, three, nine. Motion, motion, motion. around the 38-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. First down. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He airs it out. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. He's taken down at the 19. The Blue Devils have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Incomplete, knocked away. Richardson is intended to see on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 19. Check nine, check nine. Easy, easy, easy. Stingray. Ready. Stingray. Slings it. And for Calhoun, he goes over 400 yards for the game. Anytime you pass for 400 yards in a game, you're making good reads and delivering the ball where it's got to be. He's having a solid game out there. This is certainly one of the better performances we've seen in a while. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Personal foul. Base man. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First down. From the 40-yard line, it's first down, five wide. Boy, the 
defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he was able to throw the ball away. Under pressure. He's got it out to his tight end. And the ball bounces out of bounds. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Let's go, D. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's tackled at the 35. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. This is the 10th play of this drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Touchdown, Blue Devils. on the extra point. A nine-play, 67-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, it's been fun to watch him because he's doing everything you want to see in a quarterback. He's making the right read. He's getting the ball out of his hands on time. And it's giving his receivers a chance to make the play and get upfield. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Virginia Tech is up a score. Takes the toss left. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 40. The defense was a little bit slow in reacting to the pitch out, and he had the time and space to break open for a good game. From their own 40-yard line, first down. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. You like that? You like that? Just a minute lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still, Still second, second down. down. 
from their own 37 yard line. Second down. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Now, there's going to be some time left on the clock after this punt. The defense had better be ready because this game is going to be on them. Weber, back to return it. Weber fields it at the 27. Brought down at the 41. Returns for being 14 yards. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. He's under pressure. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Personal foul, face mask, defense. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First and ten, ball on the 44-yard line. Under a minute left. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Offense. you got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. From the 23-yard line, first down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 17. Carlson picks him up six yards with a catch. That makes it second and two. Jackson, the ball carrier, the 10. for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. Duke to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback.
late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game and poise is what it's all about here who's going to have it and who won't find his receiver and that's a first down and for Berg, he makes it 100 yards worth of catches. Well, Brad, this guy continues to make play after play. The quarterback and this receiver are clearly in a zone and feeling it today. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Here we go, here we go. Three, nine. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Virginia Tech's going to take their first time out of the hat. They've got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary. Aaron and out long. Can't connect. That makes it second and ten. From the 50. Second down. He chucks it downfield. We're going to overtime. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. They give to the tailback. And they push him out around the 15-yard line. down and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker the five what a play to set him up with a first and goal defense and their short yardage package Touchdown, Blue Devils. Duke with a six-point lead. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Owls took the field ranked 19th in the land. A lot of heat on them to hold that spot in the top 20. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for North Carolina State, they're in danger of losing two straight. Man left, man it's left. first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to try that time. Woo. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 13. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and, and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Touchdown, VTech. be tied with the extra point. 
He makes the PAT. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. From the 25-yard line, first down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. About four yards away here on third down. Under heavy pressure. Goes to the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defense... try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. run and he's brought down that brings him second and five. seven yard line. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. He's in for the score and this game's over. He's had to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.